Predictions for the future and staying ahead of emerging trends have never been more crucial as the U.S. and the world continue to deal with a pandemic that changed the way we live. So what does the future hold for businesses, society, and us? Well, here are some insights from her latest trends report called 2020 for 2022. Measuring up what we thought we knew is global trend spotter Marion Salzman. Marion is the senior vice president of global communications at Philip Morse International. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, we appreciate your time this morning and let's go ahead and just break this down. What are those major trends that you see emerging for the new year and beyond? Well, I think the first trend isn't exactly emerging. It's here to stay and that is chaos. Um, things have never been more chaotic in modern times. Um, the mental health challenges that come along with this chaos have made people that much more uptight, which leads them to feel that much more chaotic. I think the workplace is chaotic as new rules are being written in terms of how do you marry, hi marry hybrid with face-to-face. -face. I think there's safety and security issues that people face as it relates to climate change. So chaos is very much the overarching trend that links everything together. And you feel that that's going to really impact our lifestyle and living environment then? Absolutely. I think you're going to see people move away from big cities. I think you're going to see some people come and move into big cities, but you're going to see a move away from big cities. You're going to see an emphasis on uh, smaller, more manageable communities where people can live and can work and can share with neighbors, can find some kind of um, sense of green space for their kids, for nature, just to be able to recharge and reboot. And when we get back to the business aspect of it, do you expect us to be more of this kind of virtual atmosphere then, or what are you expecting to see in the ways that we're working? I think the new normal is gonna be hybrid. I think you're gonna have certain days, certain times, certain projects that require you to go to a physical space and, and be collaborative. And other times you're gonna be working free on your own biological clock, on your own time frame, docking in the hours to get the work done, but I think there's going to be a lot more independence. It's going to be a duality. And I think this hybrid model, it's going to take some time to figure it out, but I think it's here to stay. Yeah, we're kind of doing that here at our station itself. And we talked earlier about chaos, so let's talk about positivity. What trends do you think could lead to a more positive change than for our world and our planet, really? Well, I think after almost two years of lockdown and watching firsthand on television um, the murder of George Floyd, some of the other um, really unfortunate moments in news, I think you're going to see a real push towards inclusion, um, diversity, and especially equity. And I think you're going to see people really stand up for a, a more equitable world. I think you're going to see some pushback about the kind of suffering that's taking place on the front line and others needing to join forces with the people on the front line to make life a little bit easier. I think you're gonna see more sense of community. It's gonna be community with a small C. It's gonna be community with people you know in your geographic area, in your mind space, but you're gonna um, step up and really want to help them help themselves and help one another. I wish we had more time to really pick your brain more about this, but we ran out of time. But where can we go for more information just to learn more about these future forecasts and what you're seeing? OK, the whole report, it's 50 odd pages, is on my website. It's Marion, M-A-R-I-A-N, Salzman, S-A-L-Z-M-A-N, one word, dot com. And you can download the trend report. And if you have comments, suggestions, advice, and you send me a note, I promise I'll answer. Well, happy holidays to you. We appreciate you breaking down this report for us. And thanks for joining us today. Happy holiday to you. Thank you. Well, again, you can just visit her website. It's right there on the screen for you. We'll also have this on our website as well for more information.